Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about where the market went this past week, where we think the market's going this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. So if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain. But over time, I became more consistent and I believe that you will as well if you're not already. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. I post two videos a week, one every Thursday night and one every Sunday at 12 p.m. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. So we're taking a look at NASDAQ on the daily chart and you'll see that my long that I was in already hit TP. Now it's at 15,240. I took profit early at about 15,200 on the, the Monday at the end of the day. And now we're trading into resistance to the left. I did note in the past videos, I said if we get a daily close above these highs at about 15,450 or so, then I can be more confident in a, in a bullish market structure shift on the daily. Uh, but you can't really get super confident until you get a close over 15,700. So right now, you know, we just retraced, let's say from, from the high made before we sold off to the low. Fib retracement, we touched the 70% and now we're sitting around the 618 at that 15,315. So still technically speaking on the daily chart, not super bullish because this was a swing high. There's no swing highs here. So realistically, this is the last swing high before the sell off. However, obviously you can argue once we sold off, we pushed up, made a high, sold off, made a higher low, and then boom, this is all one big higher high. So the question there is, did we get it safe? And we don't really know yet because if you just look back in August, same situation where we sold off, once we came up, we put in that higher low, made another higher high, but then sold off and then took out those lows again. So you can't really be confident in anything yet there. So for now, I'm just waiting on the sidelines. I'm just going to see how that plays out. Not a whole lot to say there unless you go over to the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, same idea. You can see a high, you see a low, you see a lower high, and then you see a lower low again. We just rallied up into resistance to the left. So on the weekly chart, this still looks bearish like this looks like there's no reason to be in longs based on the weekly and on the daily we have some resistance so basically the daily and the weekly are still technically bearish but then every other time frame is bullish right now so let's move on to es on the weekly chart you can see similar idea we have a high we have a, a low where we broke market structure on the weekly made a lower high lower low and now we're just trading up into the resistance to the left so weekly chart still bearish on ES. Daily chart, same idea, still bearish. However, we are holding that 200 day moving average and we could be poised to come up and take out the uh, 4700 area. But again, too early to, to say, if you just draw a fib retracement, same idea like we did on NASDAQ, from that high down to the low, we just, we didn't even get up to the 618 on the fib. We're kind of sitting around the 50% retracement. So if you're bearish, you would it would be a really good risk reward short at that uh, 4380 area. area. Personally, I'm, I'm not too bullish on ES right now. NASDAQ has been holding up a lot better, so I have liked that more. And I thought that we would get more of a shift into ES, but I think the bank earnings are out tomorrow, Friday, so we're gonna have to see how that shapes up. I'm not confident in any trade at the moment, unless you're looking to short, because realistically, we could just short right here. Let's say where the market is now at 15,325. You could get in a short. Your stop is just above the 15,700 area. And then TP is first support to the left, which is testing the lows. So that's a one-to-one. -one. But then your ideal TP is down at those, sweeping those lows again for a 1.8 R. So I'm actually favoring this right now. If you see what I'm looking at, I'm favoring this, but I'm not going to get in this. I'm actually going to wait. If we do sell off and put in a higher low, I'd most likely get in the long and the move stops below, but it depends on the VIX and it depends on the dollar. So let's take a look at the DXY. Previous video, I said uh, DXY, we wanna see us sweep the low at 105.6 to then assume that we're in a bearish market structure. And when the dollar's bearish, that's bullish for the market. So we did that and then we got this big rally today. So since we got this big rally, question is gonna be, Nick, come now, you know, this is gonna be resistance to the left and we're just gonna trend back lower and take out those lows again. If so, then we're bullish on the NASDAQ, realistically speaking. So if we believe that this is now gonna be lower highs and lower lows because we swept this low and closed below it, and we're now in a bearish market structure shift, then we would look for longs on NASDAQ. But on a weekly basis, we know the dollar is still extremely strong. And my final target for the dollar was at the 109 area. So 
I still think we're gonna get there. And because of that, I can't be too bullish on NASDAQ at the moment until the dollar gets up there or we get a lot more weakness in the dollar. Now, here's the VIX on the daily chart. Previous couple of videos, I said, once the VIX gets below the 200 day moving average, it usually tests the 50 day. We did that. If the VIX wanted to stay bullish, which it totally could, we came down here, that could mark the top for NASDAQ and ES. I uh, mean, you know, the tops we just saw today could be the highs and the VIX could continue to push up and we could continue to have a bearish ES and NASDAQ because volatility just found the 50 day moving average as support and decided to trend higher. Can totally happen and we have to just wait and see, but I personally actually am in that camp. I could see us now using this as support, cycle back up, NASDAQ comes down, takes out the low again, and because I think that because the dollar is still extremely strong in the weekly chart. So NASDAQ could come out, just sweep below, get to 14,400 by the end of October, and then from end of October into end of the year, come back up above 16,000. That's where I'm at. So I'm personally not in any trade. I am leaning towards shorts because the risk reward right now is better for shorts. Uh, if we were down here near the lows and I saw that the dollar was also weak, then I would look for longs. But right now, favoring shorts on NASDAQ, favoring shorts on ES because the weekly and the daily is still bearish, in my opinion, for ES and NASDAQ. The smaller time frames are more bullish. So if you're looking to swing trade for days and weeks, I'd be looking for shorts on NASDAQ and ES using the stops uh, just above these highs here. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. I post two videos a week, one every Thursday night and one every Sunday at 12 p.m. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.